While you may think that Christmas lights and tree ornaments are the only ways to dazzle your friends and family this holiday season, only there are plenty of other ways to add sparkle to the holidays, and one way starts with your eyes. Here to show us how to add some holiday flair to our eye look are makeup artist Angelique Verber with Platinum Imagination and model Stephanie Bunkers. Thank you both so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you. So the holiday season is a great time to add stuff to your eye makeup. And you've started on our model right yes. here, Stephanie. So just walk us through what you've done so far to prepper. Okay, so what we did is we went through and um, I did, for hers, I did eyebrows first and then I did her eyes. So um, I do that first so that way um, she doesn't get a lot of overspray or anything that ends up underneath her eyes. So when you're using the darker shadows, like when you're doing the smoky eye, you can end up having, you know, a bunch that comes off underneath the eye and you've already got your foundation and stuff already prepped on there and it's hard to get off. So with hers, so I did just a gentle smoky eye and then her foundation and then we did the red lip which is kind of fun for the holiday. So gentle smoky eye. Yes. How do you create a smoky eye look without looking like you have two black <laughs> eyes? <laughs> so you always want to start with just like your base color. So you always want to start with like an eye primer is what we talked about. So is that, do you have to use an eye primer? You don't have to. But, but some helps. people, yes. I have really oily eyelids. Oh, I got crazy eyelids. And so it helps like just kind of make sure that they're prepped up. And if you do get oilier eyelids, it helps it to stick a little bit better because okay. it can kind of turn into a mud pit like later on. Okay. Um, if you have really dry eyelids, you don't probably need to use a dry, you know, okay. use a primer. But So will you go over it just a little bit using the yeah. brushes you used yep. and just demonstrating this technique? Yep. So we went over, so we usually do like a big fluffy brush, and then we just go all over the eye with like a very matte, like light powder. So I don't usually go over with like a sparkle right off the bat because that just kind of changes up. So you don't want to start with like a matte, but just a really light one. So for hers, I did a light peach, just kind of all over, just to kind of cover up the eyelid a little bit. And then I went in. So and using that matte color that you said it was a light one, does that change the intensity if you're using maybe not as light? If you use a more darker light, maybe if it's a tan instead of a super light color? You could, but I mean, depending on what you're, with hers, go ahead and close for me, with hers, because she's got a smaller eyelid in through here, we kind of want to leave that more open, and okay. so that way, that's what helps you not get like the super dark light look like you have two black eyes. So if you have so. smaller eyes, you want to do less of the dark. Yes. Just more, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So with hers, so yeah, so we just went in and through here and through the crease area to kind of like darken it up in through here. So I used um, a, like a medium. Um, just a warmer shadow and that just kind of helps like build the shadowing up so you don't go from like super light to super dark because we don't want that either that kind of looks like too um, what's the word like we get too stripey you know it's hard to blend when you get with that mm -hmm. and so then we went over the top of that with a little bit darker like a darker matte brown in through here just to kind of help build that up so again we can kind of blend and blend and just shade everything in and then Right through here, and then I went over her actual like lash line because again she's got a lot. Um, she doesn't have a lot of room in between here, so I went over her lash line with just a little bit of um, an eyeshadow wet down with a mixing medium. And so you so used eyeshadow as that eyeliner. Yes, sometimes it just kind of depends on who you know who we're dealing with. But because I wanted just a really teeny little line, so I just use a little bitty teeny brush and mix some of this, and then put it in with the eyeshadow, and it makes it last a lot longer. So when you mix that, do you put that? in a different spot or can you use that right on the brush into the eyeshadow? You can use that, I mean you can just put it into like, I, you can use like a little teeny piece of like aluminum foil or whatever, you know, just to put that in. Okay. And then you can put your brush in and then you can use it right into your eyeshadows. Okay, so. let's get into the fun part okay. now, yes. the, the <laughs> glitter and sparkles. Yes, so these, um, these are fun, so these are actually glitters and they are all encapsulated in like this lovely gel. And this is fantastic because it helps it keep it from falling out. Because I know we have lots of like trouble with like glitter falling out, and then you have it like all over your eyes. When it's like the powder. Yes, and it's all over your face, and mm -hmm. that's we don't like that because so that's hard to get. So these off. are these for your eyes. These yes. glitters. Yes. Yes. So it's really important to make sure that you have um, actual face glitter or eye approved glitter because glitter that some people. You know, that you just go and you go, oh, hey, it's, you use one from the craft store. No, don't do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is microscopically not cut correctly to be put on the eye. And if it gets into your eye, you can actually scratch it. So it's really important that you use one that's actually made for makeup and that it is used, that is approved for being on the face. On the face so that, I have contacts. So. Is this yes. going to bug me if I use this? No. Okay. So these are okay because they've been cut the way they're supposed to. So if you do happen to get one into your eye, it's not going to hurt your eye. So, okay. Yep. Well, let's see how you put this on. Okay. So we're going to use a little bit of Oh, so you don't even use a brush. Yes, we will. Okay. But we're just going to, but to keep it sanitary, we're going to just get oh, it out of there like that. Yeah. 
But you know, if you're using it home, you could totally just use it out of your own jar. But so we're gonna do that. But look, ooh, it's so pretty. Yeah, that I is love gorgeous. It. Look at that. Oh yeah. So then we're gonna take this little brush and go across the way. So we're just gonna go in there and just tap that right on it. Oh my gosh, fun. So I love it. depending on, and they've been doing a lot of this on the runway, which is really cool, and the red carpet. So this last year, it's been really big with the celebrities that they've been adding a little bit of glitter, but a little bit. You know, you don't have to do a whole lot. We don't need to get all crazy. So I can, I can wear glitter no matter how old I am. Yeah, absolutely. Can you tell me the difference between pigment power and invert ingredient? Okay, go ahead and go this one. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. Um, so yeah, so the difference between like your pigment powder, if you're going to be using a really good like eyeshadows, um, is that their pigment is going to be more intense in there, so you're actually paying for better quality, so when you actually put it on the eye, it's actually going to show up. Um, a lot of times if you buy, and it's not always the cheaper ones, but sometimes they put inert ingredients in there, and so you're like trying to put eyeshadow on, trying to put eyeshadow on, and it just doesn't seem to come off onto your eye, and you're like, how come this isn't getting yeah. dark enough? Well, it's just because they're just not using quality ingredients in there to make them show up. You don't have that pigment power is what we're looking for. So that's really important to make sure that you research to kind of make sure that the one that you're using has enough pigment powder for what you're paying for. All so. right, so if we're just getting started in this, what tips, what are your main tips? Tips that you have for us. So you want to make sure that you prep your eye well. Again, you can use like an eye primer. You can use a cream shadow, which those are also fun too. So you can use, um, you know, Mac has some really great cream shadows. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. Um, you also want to make sure that you use uh, like a matte shadow to start with. You can use glitter, but then it's hard to kind of build off of that. So the matte one is really important. Um, you want to make sure that you blend and blend and blend, <laughs> and when you don't think it's blending, blend. yeah. And if you think that you haven't, you need to continue to blend until you get it, because I mean, nobody wants to see like a whole bunch of like really harsh, you know, type of shadow cut yeah. off and different things like that. And then also too, I was saying, um, do the eye makeup and stuff before you do the foundation because. That it way it falls. really helps you, yes, and so that way if it falls off underneath your eyes, you're not having to go back and like go back over that foundation that you've worked to perfect and get right and everything like that. So yeah, so doing it afterwards helps a lot. And real quick, we're out of time, but I just want to ask, okay. what is the main trend you're seeing this holiday for eyes? So definitely glitter, metallics, so anything like this, like gold, you know, silvers, that's really important. The glitters are really awesome. And then of course, like red lips. All the, the red lips. The red lips. Yeah, which you have also too as well. So. <laughs> well, thank you yep. so much, Angelique and thank Stephanie you. for coming in today. Yeah. You look beautiful. I thank love it. Thank you.